showed this on Instagram, but I'm gonna show you here too because I'm just like so happy with it. This bookshelf, I totally revamped and just like moved stuff around, washed it, put some of my Finding Your Cape copies here, like put my diploma from BCIT proudly on display for broadcast journalism and just like, I don't know. I needed like a zhuzh in my office and it's been nice to do while I haven't been in school. Like obviously I had to keep a bottle from when my local pure German juicery used to sell our redhead mare juice. Amazing. Um, yeah. If you need a little zhuzh in your house, just look at your bookshelf. It feels good. And then over here is the new addition to my office. Just a little casual light reading trauma-informed toolkit. <laughs> Social workbooks. But I added a fridge, a little baby mini fridge. They were half price couple weeks ago and I was gonna get one for the unicorn for downstairs for the basement and he was like we should put it in your office no problem so it's not full because I'm not spending a lot of time in here so like when I am during the school time there'll be like fruit and veg and stuff but I'll just show you what I've got so far it's basically just drinks <laughs> it fits so much I'm super proud of it proud of it happy with it we got some peanuts and almonds, some pickles, some vegan jerky. Sorry, this is dark. Let's brighten you up a little bit, shall we? There's no light in here, I just realized. <laughs> um, already ready with some ginger shots. Yep, because who knows what's coming at any time. And then just some ginger ale and some Coke Zero, just in case, just in case. Marathon or brand, by the way, in case you're looking for some fun sparkling. We love this place. Um, creamer for my coffee, because I have an espresso in here. Some of my favorites, I thought I'd try putting them in the fridge so they're cold. I've loved this for years. Uh, I usually have it on my desk so I can spray myself when I need like a little refresh. And I got a couple others. I got them in a set actually at Shoppers and I'd never seen this brand at Shoppers before. And then even has a little freezer. So I've got some ice in there and then a roller, like an ice roller for my face, which I find helps when I have headaches and stuff. So this is the new addition. She's very excited. Have you tried the watermelon bubbly? Not my fave, but it's pretty good. This is my current love. Mm, so good. Some of you will appreciate this. I went through all my binders and notebooks and stuff from school so far and labeled them and organized them. <laughs> I don't know if you're gonna be able to read. Healthcare, group therapy, family therapy, social work methods, mental health, trauma. Oh yeah, it feels good. This was, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I got this label maker in January. I totally redid the pantry. Actually, I'll show you the label maker. This is the brand Dymo. It's not an electric one, Organizer Express. It's like a punch one. I got it from Staples. I just got the cheapest one they had because I didn't know if I was gonna like it or use it. And I love it. It's the exact font I wanted, as you just saw and I label anything and everything I can think of. <laughs> I love it so much. Like more than, probably more than I should, but I don't care. We have come to the beach this morning. It's about 11.30 and we are gonna be here for a few hours. We basically came to have lunch and have a swim, hopefully. Although it's not blazing hot. Mm -hmm. And I know that makes me sound like a real beach snob, but it's not real hot yet. <laughs> so I'm hoping it will be by the time before we have to leave. We're here for a bit um, before we actually have a date tonight and some respite. So fitting in a little family time at the beach. 
brought the book I'm currently reading, which is an actual book, The Rose Code by Kate Quinn. I'm about maybe a third of the way through. I read The Alice Network by her and really liked it. So anyway, you don't want to see me talk. You want to see the view probably. <laughs> You're happy, bud. It's not busy this morning, that's for sure. It's nice. Not too hot. And clear skies. Which has not always been the case. No smoke today. Back up, back up. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday morning and um, our date last night was super fun. I'm definitely having a slower start to the day because I'll just turn this fan off. Um, we were out later than normal, but like later for the normal for us but it was really fun um, I'll include a little montage here we did the driving range then we went to one restaurant while we were waiting for a table at another restaurant and we went to that restaurant and had pizza maybe the best best vegan pizza I've ever had it was so good it was called the Chinese takeout it was so good anyways here's last night we had a wonderful time at the beach we all swam which was super fun Thomas likes to swim between the two of us back and forth we were in the water for quite a while had lunch chilled out I even read my book a little bit surprisingly and then um, came home we all like showered etc and then our respite showed up so she was gonna take Thomas for a drive shocker some sushi a little hangout she hadn't seen him since we went to Vegas in April and she was like whoa <laughs> he has grown um, he's almost 5'5 five five, in case you were wondering like he's he's a big dude his shoes that he's wearing right now um, we have the same size feet and he is 11 <laughs> Uh, so we are heading to do something that we've never done before together. We've each done it independently. I haven't done this in probably 15 years. We are going to a driving range to hit a bucket of balls. The unicorn brought his clubs and then was like going through the bag and found some pretty awesome things because <laughs> he hasn't done this in years either. So we're going to go do that. It's a really nice day and then get some dinner. Not going to be a late night. They'll be fun. It's nice to have a date. Here is the view from the driving range. Like, pfft. hey, and also we are the only ones here. <laughs> we thought it was gonna be busy. There is n nobody else here. This is incredible. How pretty. Not all that way. Just go a little bit back, and then keep your arms straight as you come through. Yes, look at that. <laughs> Nice. For like your fourth hit, <laughs> that's great. Nice. Wow. <laughs> Amazing, that was really well done. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, so, we didn't block the cauliflower. Oops, someone forgot. We're a rookie again. Or the wine. <laughs> or the wine. But highly recommended. <laughs> we did have the cauliflower. Yeah, and we had the tea. Yeah, it was very good. And the beer was excellent. <laughs> And then this morning, um, I am stripping my towels. 
basically, I take my towels and like our sheets and stuff out of the linen closet and they don't smell fresh. And so I asked on Instagram what I should do and the consensus was to do this process called stripping your laundry. So that's what I'm doing. It's disgusting. You mix this concoction of stuff and yeah, you can pick that one up, bud. Good job. And then put your stuff in the bathtub and let it sit for hours and then wash them and you just watch the water get so gross from like build up of stuff. Okay, here's one hour. That is not clean water. Not as gross as I was expecting, but still pretty disgusting considering these were literally just out of the linen closet. That's so gross. That's so gross. Here's hour two. It's not looking good, friends. It's not looking good. I'm not explaining it properly. It's from Go Clean Co on Instagram. I'm sure most of you are already following them or most of you already know about this because it was popular in 2020 when everyone was home cleaning their houses. Um, so that's what I'm doing. We're on hour like three or four and it's disgusting. It's so gross. So I will show you that process as we continue. Thomas and I just went on a walk. The unicorn did a workout and now Thomas is doing some good independent play. It's a Sunday and the theme today is just low and slow, low and slow. Okay, I'm gonna show you the water. I'm just taking the towels out. These were clean towels. <laughs> yeah. How gross. How disgusting. So now I'm gonna wash them and see if they come out fluffy. <laughs> so gross. I'm confident that grossed you out as much as it grossed us out. So now the towels are downstairs in the wash and um, once they've like dried and come out, I'll show you them and then I'll tell you whether or not I think it worked or was worth it. I'm not gonna start like bedding or the dark towels until these ones are done and I actually see like a difference because anyway. Um, yeah, we had a nice morning. We went out as a, as a family and for a drive and a little coffee, which was good. And now I'm gonna make lunch and then deliver Thomas to his afternoon of respite in a pool. Sounds pretty good to me.
Sorry if you can hear that wind. Um, I just have the fan on because it is hot. Just dropped Thomas off, like I said. Um, and then we went to IGA and got a few groceries. If you ever want a donut, the donuts at IGA are so good. They're $1.29 each. Apple fritter, jelly filled, cinnamon bun. I think I saw like maple, some Boston creams. So good. Also got like lettuce and buns for burgers tonight. Found some Dempster's protein bread. Mm. My favorite chips were on sale for two, two for eight, so I bought those. And now I think we are gonna watch episode 10 of Only Murders in the Building. We started watching this on Friday, Thursday. Thursday and we're at the season one finale. Have you watched it? It's on Disney Plus. It's Steve Martin, Martin Short, Selena Gomez. It's so good. I really like it. It's a fun like murder mystery and there's season two as well so maybe we'll start that. I'm not sure. I just want to be horizontal on this couch for the next three hours. That's the plan. That's the plan. I've been really investing in rest this month and enjoying it. Here is the result. Here are the towels. They are much puffier, much brighter. They smell good. They look much nicer. Yeah, I'm super impressed. Honestly, I'm just thinking like, what am I gonna do next? I guess time will tell if when they're in the linen closet they get stinky, but they look brand new. And they feel much better too, so. What should we do next? Dark linens? Please, can I do your work clothes? Yes. <laughs> I want to do your uniform so bad. Most of them are clean, they're new. So good. So you got Tide, it's a cup of Tide. A quarter cup of this. Arm and Hammer So Clean. And a quarter cup of Borax. In case you couldn't hear me, it's a cup of Tide, quarter cup of this Borax Natural, and then a quarter cup of this Arm & Hammer So Clean Super Washing Soda. Like you can already see the water's not clear. This is all clean laundry, again, out of my linen closet. Like that is gray water. Oh, I might have put too much in but I think we'll be okay. Okay, we'll check back in an hour. Okay, it's been an hour. Look at the water. Look how dirty that is. Like you can't see my hand. <sighs> Got some dinner happening. I am having lettuce wrapped burger. These are the Roadhouse brand. You can get them at IGA. So good. And this, I think it was also from IGA. I can't remember exactly what vegan cheese it is. But then we just have like the accoutrement down there, vegan mayo, air fried, french fries. Um, cooked to perfection. Thanks for watching. Please stop, subscribe, become a marathoner. Life's not a sprint, it's a marathon. We might have to redo. <laughs> fine, fine. Life's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Yeah, it's a marathon, folks. Okay, I know I said that that was it, but I just have to show you how Thomas eats an Oreo. It's so cute. Here's T-Bone. Watch what he does. Takes the icing off, holds it. Yeah, eats the cookies. Just holds it like a perfect little pizza. 
Mm. Fun fact, also Oreos are accidentally vegan. Where's that icing? Look, and then he just has the icing perfectly. Ta-da! All right, that's it. That's the real end. That's the dessert. Oreos are vegan. Tell me how you eat your Oreos. Do you eat them like Thomas? Okay, I'm back again. This is duvet covers, fitted sheets, a couple pillowcases. Look how disgusting this is. Like, you can't see my hand. So gross. So they're in the washing machine now. A hot wash, and then I'll dry them. I'm just gonna leave you with this visual. What a way to end the vlog. <laughs>